In this training video, we're going to look at a slightly different way to style the 2011 theme that is the default theme that comes with WordPress. Here we are where we left off with our customized theme for our website. We chose a dark background for a more dramatic display. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to change this appearance completely and go for a different look for our website. All we need to do is log into the dashboard and we can do so up here at the top on our admin bar. And once we're in the dashboard again, we need to visit the theme options for 2011. And in this case for color scheme, we're going to switch to a light color scheme. So all we need to do is save our changes. We are going to change the background of this site as well. And on the background options page, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the image we uploaded previously. And now we're going to go ahead and upload a new image from our computer by browsing our computer. And here I have a background prepared, and this is actually a file that I created in Photoshop. However, you can use this same technique to choose any large image to put into the background of your website. We're going to go ahead and open that, and that is going to select the file. All we need to do now is upload it. And up above in the preview, you can see that we have this image tiling. However, unlike the other background image we uploaded, this one is large enough to be used just by itself. So we're going to scroll down to our display options. We're going to leave the position at center. However, we're going to select no repeat. And now we have the image just by itself. And we're going to leave it at fixed as well, because we want this background to stay where it is. Once we've done that, all we need to do is save our changes. And we're also going to change the header image on our site as well by going to the header options page. Before we upload any images, we're going to delete this image. So we need to scroll to the bottom where it says remove image, and we're going to remove the header image. Now all we need to do is browse for the new image we're going to use in its place. And we're going to choose one of our lighter colored background images. And once we've selected the file, we're going to click open and then upload that to our website. There we can see our preview for the new image we've uploaded. Once we've done that, all we need to do is scroll all the way to the bottom and save our changes. And we can see now that the header is updated. And let's go take a look at our website. With just a few simple changes, we've gone back to a lighter appearance overall with a nice linen background and a lighter colored header image.